I'm going to be doing a project soon using an accelerometer. This is the ADXL335 accelerometer. Uh, got this on eBay for about $2.25 including shipping. So this is an awesome little mini board. And so we connected this up to the Arduino. Uh, we have our DuPont style connectors here and on the Arduino we're bringing the X, Y, and Z uh, analog values into A5, A4, and A3 respectively. Um, we're getting 3.3 volt uh, VCC input. Uh, we're also bridging that over to the AREF, the analog reference pin on the Arduino because this accelerometer outputs its analog values using 3.3 volts and so we want to make sure that the Arduino uh, references them at 3.3 instead of 5 volts and that's why we use the AREF pin. I wired the Arduino using the instructions in this instructable and I will link this in the video details in the description. Uh, the only difference uh, is in this instructable the author says that you can use a 5 volt VCC input on the ADXL335 uh, because that chip has a regulator and I could not find the regulator on mine and the data sheet does not say that it can accept a 5 volt input in fact the data sheet tells us uh, that it will accept uh, between a 1.8 and a 3.6 volt input. So that is why I used the 3.3 volt out from the Arduino and uh, simply bridged that over to the analog reference. Uh, so I wired up the Arduino, I ran my code, and uh, so let's take a look at the code itself. So here's our Arduino code. Very, very simple here. We're defining the X pin, Y pin, and Z pin. Again, that's A5, A4, and A3. Uh, and then uh, we're setting the serial uh, output uh, with a 9600 baud uh, connection. And we're simply looping and reading those analog values. So here uh, I'm printing to the serial port uh, and I'm reading from the analog X pin and then you'll notice here I'm subtracting 507. I'm reading from Y and subtracting 512. So what's 507, 512, 615? Uh, when I first did this, I set the ADXL335 flat on a breadboard on the table to try to find its at rest values. Uh, there, there are probably many better ways to do this this was my uh, sort of uh, quick way to do it to get some code up and running and these were the at rest values that consistently I found so here we here here we're outputting this data to serial notice that I'm printing a tab character in between each of these values and that's so that uh, at some point I could read this in to Excel or to some other uh, application to do some logging and some analysis of the data. So to that end, I didn't want to just use the built-in Arduino serial monitor. I wanted to output this directly to the terminal, which would give me some more options. So I looked that up, and here on the Arduino Playground, they have some information on doing this. You can use the STTY command line function on Mac and Linux to tell your computer uh, for this serial port, and this isn't the one that I'm using, uh, we want to communicate at this baud rate, and then you can do things like cat the input from that serial port directly to standard out. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, let's open up our terminal here. Uh, first, like I said, we're going to run this STTY command to tell it that on my Mac, dev slash cu usb modem 1411 that is my serial input for the arduino and we're going to communicate at 9600 baud so we'll run that command and then and this is what's really cool i can simply cat the input 
from that serial port directly to the terminal. So when I hit enter, you're going to start to see the numbers flow. This is my accelerometer data. I'm, I'm holding it as close to zero as I can. Now watch what happens if I tap the accelerometer. You see that spike in the numbers? Let me tap it again. So obviously when we move it, we're getting a change in the, uh, the acceleration force data. It's a very, very cool, uh, cool little board and a really neat uh, tool. Uh, on a Mac and on Linux, you can control C to stop that output and uh, you could you could cat that output to a file instead of standard out. Lots of different things you could do with this. Uh, so thanks a lot. Press subscribe. Have a great day.